Hi, my name is Bill Barney. I'm with Community Dish in Pahrump, Nevada. I'm an SBCA licensed installer, that's Satellite Broadcast Communications Association, and I'd like to help you with your satellite installation. Okay, we're going to assemble the satellite dish. We're going to start with the uh, polar plate. The polar plate, we need to loosen a few bolts. The first two bolts that I'm going to be loosening are called the elevation bolts. There's one on each side. Make sure those are loose. And I'm going to move that elevation up. <clears throat> now, we're not going to be critical on where to set this at this time because we'll get that information off of the Dish Network Point Dish screen. We just need to get it moved up enough so that these clamp bolts aren't buried in the uh, elevation bracketry so that we can tighten those. The other thing we need to do is make sure these clamp bolts are, are fairly loose. We uh, don't want them to fall off, but we want them at least as far open as they will go without falling off so that we can slip it over the top of the mast. And now, the next thing we want to do is this is a skew on this. We don't want it to be skewing all over the place. We will have to adjust the skew on this particular dish, but we're just going to snug those down so that they're not slipping all over the place. The first two pieces I attach together after I have the polar plate loosened is I attach the dish, the reflector plate, also called the dish, to the polar plate. And in our hardware bag, you'll see some special bolts, and they're gray on one side, same color as the dish. These are the dish plate bolts, the reflector plate bolts that we need to use to attach it to the polar plate. And there's four of those. On the other side of those bolts is a little nut and it's got a flat, flat area on one side. It's got like a built-in lock washer and it keeps these uh, nuts from loosening from the bolt. Get that finger tight and then repeat it, put it the other bolt on. Again, using another one of those bolts, the gray top, we're going to insert it from the front side through to the back, put it on through the uh, reflector plate, through the polar plate, and then we're going to put the uh, nuts that look like a hat on the back side. Okay, now that we've got all four bolts that hold the polar plate to the reflector plate, we're going to tighten them up. I use a 7 16 ratchet wrench, but any 7 16 wrench will work just fine. And that completes our Turbo HD 1000.2 dish assembly.